And we have another great author for this beautiful book that is ready to tell us a little bit about herself. Let's start with your name. Rachel J, but some call me the veggie version of Rachel Ray. Ah, how's that? Well, I simply make uh, vegan, gluten-free, and refined sugar-free dishes. While Rachel Ray, we know, uses all of that. And I can make them an under 20. Hello. <laughs> and I'm sure, they, I'm sure they taste very wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Everybody says so. Um, can, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. At five years old, I actually had my fir very first cooking show living in the wilderness in California. And I used to scour and forage for ingredients in nature that looked like ingredients that I could pull together and make salads and stews and mud pies. And then I would, of course, present that to the deer and the squirrels and to all, all of nature. So that's where I got my start. <laughs> that's pretty genius, <laughs> I must say. That's great. Um, what was your contribution to this great book? It is Cooking in Faith, and it's a culinary spiritual awakening. Awesome. And can you tell me a little bit about that chapter? Yeah, it is based, of course, on my personal experience. Um, when I turned 31, I realized that my entire world was completely crashing around me. I had actually no hope to live and I began the process of taking my own life. And within that and finding, um, getting up, I found that I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know where to go. And all of a sudden, I had a spiritual awakening that led me to the only place that was accessible and affordable to me in my life at that moment, and that was the kitchen. Absolutely. Uh, I think I personally think that the kitchen can be such a um, su such a calming experience, that, and it, but it also gives you uh, an, an energy that's hard to explain. And very healing as well. And I started to realize when I was creating something out of nothing in the kitchen, and I could pull together something that people would say was great, that I all of a sudden have a confidence in me to go outside into my real life and be able to completely transform anything I wanted about it. Cooking is by far the most powerful transformation tool. I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, can you tell me what was your main inspiration for this chapter? Well, specifically, um, besides my life experience that I went through, I really wanted to provide and share what I had learned and that, you know, we go on and try to change galactic things about our life, right? Career, money, relationships. But we forget that food, something that we have to participate in at least three times a day, some of us more than others, right? <laughs> that it's right there in front of us, a spiritual awakening, an opportunity to change our relationship with something that we touch every day, and we can bring what we learn to that into real life. And that's what's in the chapter, is those five biggest lessons that if you incorporate them into the way that you cook, you will automatically start infusing your life with them, and your life will completely change. That's great. That's that's I'm, I want to read that so bad. <laughs> thank you very much for being here and uh, I hope I get, wish you the best. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely.